a student. I'm a fairly ordinary student, in fact, with some perhaps extraordinary ambitions. Just like my peers, I too find myself collapsing into the sinking world of school where this valuable gift of time seems so impossible to find. But about two months ago, I had a taster of what a stress-free, almost timeless moment would feel like. Was when I, with, along with 70 other students, flew to Vietnam. The idea of this trip was to integrate with the Vietnamese culture, to persevere through incredibly hard mountain hikes, and to build houses for families in need. It was at that moment when I drove back from the Mekong, after the house building project was complete, where I realized I had forgotten to do something throughout the entire trip. Invest my time. Invest time into those tangible aspects which make experiences truly memorable. I did not invest my time with the guides on the trek, nor with the family who I'd built a house for. I don't even know their names, their age, their talents, their hobbies. I don't know anything about them for that fact. I realized that this lack of investment was what would allow me to never have more than just an experience that would be stored in the back of my mind, eventually fading into oblivion. It seems to me that this is inevitable force best described by two words, time and loss. I'm sure we've all experienced it as it collates into one word. It's called regret. It feels that this lack of investment is what results in this form of regret. Consider the small constellation of stars. It metaphorically represents our everyday lives. The stars are those experiences which stand out from the more pronounced empty space. You know, those moments in life which are really easily forgotten, like waking up in the morning, coming to class, going to work. As we begin here, we gradually make ourselves to the first big star. That is that wow moment. For me, one of those stars was that final end of season netball tournament. Now, having invested countless hours into training, having lived through every pass, every drill, and every drop of sweat to gain that extra bit of muscle, to sprint that little bit faster, I realized that my wholesome investment into this moment in time was what will make this experience truly valuable to me. It releases the sense of regret, and it ceases to exist. As the hours, the months, and the years go on, we continue to add to our experiences, making our constellation bigger, brighter, more valuable. However, it is whether you experience this wholesome investment which will determine whether or not your life will look like this or like this. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Now, this wholesome investment is what will create this self-empowering, perhaps unique, form of experience, which will release the sense of regret, and the pain will not be felt. I flew to an amazing place called Sri Lanka at the age of nine, and it was one of the first experiences where I did not feel one single bit of regret. We, fun we bonded with one of the foundations there called Children's Hope, and straight off the bat we had a connection with one of the managers there called Subodha. Now upon meeting this man and his wife Anu, who were living in a place with their parents, who had no time with each other during their 18-hour shifts, and who wanted to start the family of their own, I had no idea that I would be friends with them until now. I am now turning 18, and during the Easter break, we revisited the family, just like we do every year. And I realize that things have changed. They have a new addition to their family, and in three weeks, they'll be living in their own house in Goal. Now, this experience could have easily been another one of those once-in-a-lifetime experiences, but I know that it would have quickly faded. And instead, what I did was invest my time to build up a relationship with these people. And that is why this star won't ever fade. It will always remain sharp in my memories. Two psychologists, Chaston and Kingston, conducted a study in which they established a link between time and attention. In a recent press release, they state, we have established a new and powerful paradigm 
which has created this link between time and attention given. Essentially what they're trying to say is that the more time and the more attention we give to a particular moment in time and the more we challenge ourselves with it and the more we invest our time into it, the less the sense of pain springing from regret will become. Here's my idea. Invest in the moment. Give it life. Breathe into it. Wrestle with it. Reflect on it. Because it is these moments in time where we invest ourselves fully into the moment, where the feelings of regret fail to exist, where this experience won't age, it won't lapse, and instead it will remain to fuel and motivate you in times where you feel stressed and frustrated. Obviously, I don't have all the answers. I am only a student. But what I know is that investing time helps put a break onto this inevitable force called time. And that is, if anything, a very comforting thought. Thank you.